Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? That sounded like a door being opened. Got a drink in there. Just gonna make sure all of this is clear. Oh. It wasn't. I don't know if you guys would have been able to catch that. You know, like the... How do I explain this to you guys? It was like... Yeah, that. That squeak that you can hear. Listen to this. That noise. And it's not like I've just been through a door either. I've just been arranging my inventory and then I heard it. I'm just going to give it a second. I'm just going to keep quiet for like the next 10 seconds. See if I can hear anybody moving around. Guess if they're going to be anywhere, they're going to be in that building down there. Because I've been through the entirety of the bottom floor here. Hello? Oh. That's a zombie, isn't it? Just hear a very, very slight murmur of something. Can we get in? Was it you? Let me just test something. Where is this big guy? There you are. Let's see what noises you make. Right, I think that was just his echo. It was definitely this type of noise. That oh, shit! God, you got around that so fast. Oh, do we close it on him? Flash for a big guy. Alright. Let's take care of him then. That should be all she wrote. That's so weird though. And I swear to you guys that I'm not lying about that type of stuff. There's been a few instances where I've just been minding my business, just taking care of stuff that you don't necessarily need to see me doing. Like, I'll show you what I was doing. But it's just, you know, the usual stuff. Organizing my inventory and things like that. And just to hear this. That's so weird. <laughs> it's so random. Because there's got to be somebody here for that to happen. Hello? Alright, I'm pretty sure if anybody was here, they would have run into me by now or made themselves known. I will show you guys something just before we get into the thick of the episode. Because today... We're going into the big city. We're doing it, all right? We ended up here after the last episode where we took that, like, journey of death down the side of the mountain. And it was getting pretty late in the day. So we are at some point throughout this episode. I'm just going to get everything organized, and we're going into the city now. Just a quick heads up. We have changed a couple of things on the server since we last played. <laughs> There's going to be a lot more zombies now, which should be out in the wild, just roaming around a lot more in the cities, at the bunkers and stuff. And inside of buildings, we've basically just upped everything. Just so there's a lot more of a threat. So if you guys notice that, that's why. But what I was doing, like I was saying to you guys a second ago, is I was just organizing everything, which I should have... Oh my god, I thought that was all just disappeared then. It has happened a few times that. I've organized everything into the bags though. So the beige bag, which is this one, should just be main stuff. Just random things, which I, I've, I've basically been using. I've switched to this one just because it's a smaller backpack. The red one is this one, which just has tools and pipes and things that I can use for crafting. Mainly the tools, like whatever I'm going to need them for, for building stuff up. The green one, which is this one, is the weapons and ammo and anything that I couldn't fit in that. I think I just spilled over into that with repair items. And the yellow one is just clothes and vests and just anything in between. I've got a few stuff that is outside of this. But for the most part, this is what I'm rocking. I also found this mask as well, the Guy Fox mask. The anonymous mask or the v for vendetta mask i love that thing i don't really pick the masks up a lot but i think i'm going to from now on but that's pretty much everything that i'm going i know a few guys have been asking for me to show the inventory a little bit more so that's what we've got i'm gonna throw this in too 
I'll organize it a little bit later. But yeah, this is what I've got. And this is what my character's looking like. I did change what we were wearing. It's kind of the, the look that I kind of want to go for. There we go. Once we turn around like that, you can really see what we're wearing. So we've got the hat. We've got the scarf, which I wouldn't mind finding a new one of these because I know this one's damaged. We got the trucker jacket just to keep the profile as slim as possible because once you wear those bigger ones, you're just so easily seen out in the open. I mean, we're wearing black, so we're probably going to stick out, but I'd much rather wear this. The one thing that I would change is the pants because I think these are called worker pants. Let me just quickly check. And I know you can get a different variation of them. Oh, construction pants. You can get a different variation of them where they're like a gray or a black. But I found these ones pretty early on, so I've just repaired them as best as possible and I've thrown them on with the uh, with the brown boots to match the belt, so... I mean, like I always say, everything you wear in games like this, it matters. <laughs> it definitely matters to me, and I think we're looking pretty cool right now. So, we do have a couple of things to attend to before we actually go down into the city, because I do want to be at least somewhat prepared, especially if we're getting bigger groups of the zombies around now. So, the first thing that I want to do is have a look at what we need to do to craft a metal sword because i'm very soon going to be thinking about making a base and i don't know what we need i've been collecting some stuff so it's two metal scrap rope piece of rubber and a toolbox which we should have everything i believe i've got it in my other backpack let me just quickly throw this in the floor the one downside to the amount of space that i've made is that i've kind of not really left any space for throwing things into the car especially when i have to swap out my backpack so yeah these areas here so we've got this We've got that one over there. I think we can make bullets and stuff, basically. It's just to be able to fabricate things. So let's go to this and then craft. I don't know if it's going to say we do. No, we don't need it. Okay, awesome. So now we're going to have a metal sword, which I can basically put this away for using if I need it to build. I don't know if we do, so I'm just doing this as a precaution. And I guess it's not really going to hurt to have this, so let's have a look at it. Okay, <laughs> it doesn't look as meaty as I thought it would. A big piece of metal scrap fabricated down into something sharp with a bit of a handle. I mean, it's going to do the trick, right? We're going to be able to keep ourselves safe with it. I hope this is going to take off a few of their heads. There we go. Throw you down into the middle and you onto slot number one. What does that look like on our back? Does it look like a big old machete or something? Can't quite see it. Oh, it's tucked into the backpack. That's kind of cool. It looks like it fits in there, like it's in a little slot in the backpack. What does it look like when we grab it? Okay, it does. It just looks like a massive machete. Not really a sword, but I like it. I don't know how well it's going to do, but I guess we can test it. Okay, next order of business. I wanted to show you all this. That's right. <laughs> There's wheelbarrows in the game. Totally forgot. Let me show you while they work. A little bit weird being inside of this, but I think we can make it work. There we go. Turn it around like this. And if I'm not mistaken, you can put people in these and drive them around. Now, I don't know why you'd want to do that, but I can think of some really funny things that we're going to do in the future with this. I mean, the only real way I can see me using this now is if there's a way to put stuff in this and really pack it full, really for base building, I guess, transporting stuff back and forth without having to use the vehicle. Or if I come across another survivor and they're injured, get in the wheelbarrow and I'll, <laughs> I'll take you to safety. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? Let me just see what this looks like. <laughs> It's amazing. It's only really got one speed. The one thing that I found pretty amazing about these things, though, is when you turn left and right with them, it's got the actual physics of a wheelbarrow. I don't know how they've done it, but let me show you this. You'll know what I mean when you see it. In normal video games, it's just kind of this. But when you wobble this thing from side to side when you're running, watch what it does. Wiggle left, wiggle right. You see how it's kind of tipping over itself like that? Look how cool that looks. <laughs> Let's go in first person. Do it. Look at it. I don't know if that has the ability to tip somebody over, but... <laughs> and I don't know why the, the intention of adding them was was put in this early on, but I mean, I'm not mad. I'm sure nobody else is. I can't really take it with me. I have tried to put it in the back of the vehicle, but it will not go in. I would make this thing fit, you know? <laughs> right, let's just park it back in there. I don't know if somebody's going to be able to make use of this, so I'm going to leave it there for now. And this is kind of what's been happening. I've been getting stuck a little bit. But yeah, the wheelbarrows. Cool little thing to have. <laughs> Oh, this thing looks great. Look at that with the little bits of, like, cloth hanging from it, too. This is only the improvised one, so, I mean, there's a much more powerful one, or I guess a much more durable one that we can find. Not come across it yet, though. This was in one of the more recent updates, but I just haven't had a chance to make it yet. But, I don't know, maybe if we're going into the city, I should arm myself with a few bolts before we go down into there. Right, let's see how we actually make them, then. Let's see. So, underneath, stone tip crossbow bolt. That might not be too bad. I just don't know if 
Metal tip, wooden. Probably this one, right? What does that take? A couple of sticks, some feathers, and we yeah, we got the knife as well. I think I can find a ton of feathers in the hay over there. All right, I'm going to do that real quick. Well, I got a little bit of daylight then. And this thing, this should have feathers in it. I know, okay, it's got one. <laughs> it's better than nothing. So we'll take it. I don't really know where else we can find them. Any in this? Come on, give... Oh, there we go, two more. One, two. Right, that should be enough for at least three bolts. And I don't know if I can recover them or if I need a skill to do that or something. But I mean, like I say, it's better than nothing. So that's two. I can put you in there as well. Right, that's fully loaded. We got the knife there. I am going to have to make space with all of this stuff that I've got. But for now, let me put you in my hand. What does that look like? What can we do? Can we actually, like, do some damage with this? Now? That's amazing. Oh, yeah, that sun's getting real low. All right, I just wanted to test what the crossbow's like because i've made this extra one just to see i kind of get an idea of what it's like when it fires god that sun's going down so fast just hold on a second i just need that last little bit of light and we can switch to nighttime. right let's put you in there for a minute grab this and then can we put you directly onto that no of course we can't that'd be too easy right let's put you on there like that oh there we go you could hear that the tension as it was pulled back. All right, take a knee. And it's kind of far away. Don't know what that is, that distance. That sounded close. Yep, no chances. Not messing with wolves. We all know how that ended. <laughs> Let's get inside. I guess it doesn't really matter where we test this. Picture. Aim for the house. Wait. Oh, I thought it went right through. Damn, that's really accurate then. Let me pick these up. There we go. So, let me reload that up again. And it is just as simple as tapping the R key and then... You are good to go. Can we go through the toilet? That'll break, right? Oh, that noise! Does that... Did that... I mean, oh, it didn't break. Damn, these are some tough wooden arrows. Pick that back up. I like this thing. I really need to know what kind of distance it gets, though. Because if we're in the town and I can keep real quiet without having to fire any rounds off, I mean, I can use the RPK for emergency uses and just hold on to this. I mean, it's improvised, so I'm not too worried about losing it. I can always fabricate another one. But if I can use this, like, I don't really know where my, my sight is. It's not at the top of there. It's just at the bottom of it, isn't it? So if I aim for, let's aim for that black mass above the cabinet. Oh yeah, that nailed it. It's literally right at the very top. Okay, I know how to work this thing now. It's just the range that I'm going to have to get down. Oh, this is what you guys were telling me about. So in the previous episode, we were doing all that lock picking, the kind of new way of opening stuff in the game, which I really do like. But you were saying that if I make this, it will help improve my skill for opening those locks and I should do it. So what does that take? One wooden plank. Oh, this is the one thing that I don't think I've been holding on to. We've got the nails, we've got the padlock. Can that... That can use a drill press. Okay, so it's just note to self. We just got to hold on to these if we find them. And is this the same? Okay, this is the same for diffusal. I think I've got one of them, the electrical tool belts. I used the battery really recently as well, just to top up on the vehicle that we're using. We can get the scrap and the wire that I've not been picking up. Okay, this is going to be a little bit more difficult, but at least we know now. I was going to do it now, but it's going to eat into the nighttime and... I'm not going to get any sleep, and we're definitely going to need our sleep for going into the city. So, all right, I'm going to get some shutai. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, brand new day. This is it. We're heading into the town. I am a little bit worried because all through the night... Oh, there we go. The sun is just starting to peak over the top of that mountain. All the way through the night, I could hear so many wolves. And at one point... I could actually hear something which sounded like it was over around that area. I don't know if it was a bear or wolves, either way. <laughs> don't want to be tangling with that. Oh my god, that's what I heard. Did a horde move in? Yeah, no, we're not. We're not sticking around. Maybe it wasn't animals that I heard then while I was sleeping. 
God damn, that was so lucky that I was asleep. If I was making noise and there was a horde that moved through, that would have been it. Quite a few undead. Let's just circle it. See what we're dealing with. Do not want to get stuck here. So easily can on this terrain too. What brought them over here? Did they follow something in or... Just, just where they've grouped up. Let me just turn it around. Let me just take a look at that. See, that's worrying because... Such a big group. I settled here. Then I think I'm in for a bit of trouble in the big city. Look at that. It's just three of them. Still more behind there. Yeah, there's no sense in me getting out the car. Here it is, though. This is what we've been leading up to. Now, I really don't know what we're looking for. I guess it's more just taking note of what's here. If things are way too sketch, though, then there's no sense in me just, you know, hanging around this area. I, I kind of just want to know what's here for knowing. All right, well, we got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we're going to get a lot of practice with the improvised crossbow. In fact, let's do that right now. That was a miss. That's all right. You're pissed. I get it. Can't tell. Okay, you do have body armor on, which is going to be good. Let's just get right into the open. I don't want to attract a group of these things, because getting them off me, like what I'm about to do with this one, will be really difficult. Knock him back. And that's a miss. Nope. <laughs> okay. Like I said, we're going to get a lot of practice with this stuff. There we go. And... I wouldn't mind getting that back. You're going to let me do that. Yeah, I'm not going to have a chance to. Right, if I shoot at that one, is it going to aggro you? In fact, let's just go for that one. Why not? Let's see. Okay, there was a little bit of drop. Needed to aim a little bit more right, too. Is one on the top over there? Yeah, there is. Look. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Right, let's aim a little bit higher. Can't quite tell if that was hitting. another hit I think we're actually out of bolts I mean there is drop so that's good I wish you could throw your weapons in this All right let's see how this thing goes it's a one hit were you running at me with socks on I've not seen that yet you should have at least two bolts in your torso somewhere unless I missed no nope, there, there we go I can see one Come on in. Time it right, and that's one hit. There's two. Melee weapon increase. Right, let me actually see what the damage on this thing is. Okay, well, it's already down to 66. That's not really going to work. It's enough just to get them, I guess, give you a bit of a chance to get away, but I don't think that's going to go a long way in keeping me safe. Let's just take that one. I can't let them make noise. I don't know if it brings others in. Right, there's another one there. Might have got away with that. Thought I heard a second one. It's like a little factory or something. Got a warehouse there. There's nothing in these things back here. I've just checked it. I'm going to try and get a headshot on this guy. There. Oh, there's a vehicle there. Can't go down. Shit, is that being used? 
Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me then. Just because I don't know if somebody's using this building, because that to me looks like somebody possibly could have boarded that up. Right, that's straight through. Has somebody actually done that? I really can't tell if somebody's using this. Right, I guess we're going to see if there's any stragglers around here. Got all the ammo in the world to burn, but we should be all right. Pretty tight perimeter. And anybody would have heard that that's in there, so I guess we're going to get a reaction out of something. Nothing in here, some shells. I've really not been using the shotguns. My trust in them's just completely gone after one of them locked up while I was trying to fire at a group of them that ran towards me. It just didn't fire, and I don't know what I was doing wrong, so... <laughs> My, uh, my faith in the shotguns is completely gone. Is there anything in these? Whatever was in them. Has been swiped up. Okay, pretty sure that nobody's going to be using this, but... Let's just be safe. I'm going to keep the doors open. I'd usually close them, but... Keeping them open in case I need to make a quick getaway. The hell is this building, then? Or is it just like a shop? Storage? Can't quite tell. It was these things. The the way it was boarded up like this. It looked like somebody might have been using it. And to be honest, if this place is clear, which I am going to close the doors now, this isn't a bad spot. Oh, shit. Another one. This isn't a bad spot to hang out in. Or at least have like a backup area. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just that it's so close to the city. Again, I still don't know if it's safe. What we got? Oh my god, we got a chainsaw! Can we fit that? It literally takes up half of my backpack. Can I put you there? I can't fit it. Yeah, we're not taking the light. Chainsaw, portable gasoline-powered saw, which cuts with a set of teeth attached to a rotating chain. Oh, we have to have some fun with that. Got a couple out there, too. I'm not hearing any vehicles. I'm not hearing any shots coming from the city, so... It's a good sign that nobody might be around, but that doesn't mean it's safe by any means. I mean, you've seen, just in this little small area, how many there are now of the undead. <laughs> They're everywhere. Let's check this place out. Can we get over this? Can't really hold on to too much now, but you know what? If we don't find anything else now, I'm not mad. Finding a chainsaw. I, I totally forgot that we could find that. I'll take it. <laughs> That'll work for building a base. Got one sleeping. Two of them here. Don't like using rounds like that, but I guess that's what it's for. 16 rounds left. He's there, I think. I think he's right here in the corner. Yeah, he is. Let's bring him out. There you go. I got the last hit. Did you see the way he totally ate shit coming down those stairs? <laughs> he sounded close, but I thought he was outside based on the sound. The one down. This place is just chock full of them. Another one. There we go. All right. So this place is, as best as we can, cleared. A power drill. I've not seen that yet. So, again, we're going to hold on to this. These two I've never seen while I've been looting. Then again, I've not really taken the time to loot a lot of warehouses like this. It's been a lot of houses and... Well, I mean, you guys have seen. 
So anything unique that we come across like that? Again, if I don't use it, then I can always take a trip to the traders and see if those guys need anything like that. Because I'm sure they'll be willing to part ways with something for a drill. Or maybe a chainsaw. And that... Wait, can we take these? Oh my god, these would be so good. If you could find a trailer or something and attach these to the back of it and then drive out with them. Okay, just took on some water. I just ate an MRE just so we don't have to keep stopping. And I offloaded a lot of the stuff that we found into the vehicle as well. So we can just keep this moving. I didn't actually realize just how big this city was. So we may have to spend the night here. I don't want to have to keep coming back and going out, coming back, going back. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to try and do a general big sweep. And if I don't find anything, I'm going to stick around and just keep going deeper into the city. As long as it's not super sketch, we're just going to keep it going. I'm going to try and move through as quiet as possible without chewing through as many bullets just to put these things down. We seem all right for now. We have to find out what's at the top of these, right? I really need to know. I don't know if there's going to be... Some survivor spots up there. Maybe, again, some stuff has been left behind. Okay, I heard a gargle, but I think that was outside. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it was that guy. Got this horrible feeling that when I check one of these rooms, I'm not going to see one of them just lay like here when I peek in through the doorway like that. So I'm just going to try and be extra thorough. What's that? drink. I'm not going to take that. Just anything that could have been left behind. Again, like we found already with... Oh, there we go. That might work now. There we go. I'm just going to hold on to that then because we had to drop one before and I really want to know. What powers that though? Can we... We can actually just turn it on like it is. Does it need a battery or anything? Oh my god, look at that! So if we get caught out here with... Or when it changes to night... All we got to do is turn that on. Okay, yeah, we're, we're definitely holding on to that. That's a good find. What's this? Some barbed wire. I'm keeping hold of that. Again, just for probably base defenses or if I can find a baseball bat. It's another melee weapon right there. Okay, we are definitely getting near the top now. What is going on there? Is that just outside? Uh, we're good. It's all clear so far. Yeah, those stairs just go straight up. So we are. We're pretty much on the roof now. Oh, yeah. I could definitely see how people would be able to at least stay away from... What is that? Is that another block? What condition is that in? 70? I mean, why not? Let's just keep hold of it for now. Oh, yeah. There's a few of them down there now. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Just get him off my back. Because if I need to get a route back to the vehicle, he's now in my way. So let's do the hard work now so we don't have to later. Come on, big guy. Come on in. Going to take a couple of swings, right? One. Oh, you hit me too. Oh, you bitch. Why didn't I swing? There we go. Three hits. Right, we did find a cloth. Patch the wounds. We didn't bring anything else in. We should be all right. That's where we were, though. Just a second ago. Look how dangerous that is. Just where you could hang off the edge. I'm glad we did check up there. At least we know what's there now. These skinny ones can be an absolute nightmare to hit. Because they're just so fast. There we go. That'll do it though. <laughs> hit them straight in the head. And they will go down. You see like there's an excavator there as well. I would really love it if you could slowly piece the parts together to get something like that working i don't know why i just think it'd be badass i've also had this idea as well of being able to like use things to attach to the vehicles say for example you got this broken down van if you could just rip pieces of metal off it or being able to use tools to get the metal off and then reinforce your vehicle you know making it more apocalyptic i just think that'd be so badass if you could do that but yeah, especially something like this, like an excavator. Who knows, if somebody gets into a lot of trouble, if you barricade these areas up where you're not going to be in direct reach of the undead, 
then if somebody's stuck, they can just jump into the bucket and you can get them out of there. You know, get them out of a tight space or something. I don't know. I'm just giving you guys a scenario. Just a few of the little thoughts that I have <laughs> while I'm alone trying to survive. <laughs> you guys know how it is. Right, how high is that? Yeah, that's like a story up, isn't it? Is there no clear way down? Not going to be able to get off this thing now? Wait, there we go. What is that? A rebar cutter. That's another power tool. Used to cut reinforced steel. That's something else I've not seen in the game. Like, a lot of these tools we've come across today, no idea that they were even in this. And to be honest, no idea how to use them. So I guess we're going to be learning as we go. You guys imagine now, with all the surprises we've come across so far, the chainsaw, the drill, the rebar cutter, if we could just get inside of this right now. Oh my god. Yep, <laughs> too good to be true, but look how easy that would be. <laughs> Alright, we've got a whole group gathering over there, but we've got decisions to make, so... These ones here really don't look finished. Looks like we can go inside of them, but... The ones at the back look ready to go and probably lived in. Which is a better bet for looking for loot, so... I think that's what we're going to do. Also here, there's like a massive underground car park by the looks of it. Yeah, look. There's a road that goes underneath. Maybe for these apartments or something. We should definitely check that out too. Oh yeah, that's massive. Oh, this is a lot more claustrophobic than the last one. Got some random open doors. I'm going to have to be really careful. I'm going to check every corner. Look at that. Streets are just crawling. This type here, where they have the hood up, that's the creepiest one for me. Alright, I'm going to have to keep an eye on my stamina here, because this is going to take a lot out of us. We've got a big backpack on. We've got some shit inside of it too. Just take it slow. Right, just before we actually get off here, let's just... Make sure we're not lacking on any stamina, because I don't know if I need to jump on this section. I thought I heard a zombie die a second ago. I gave it a minute, and I think it was just the noises that they make on the outside. We'll be able to see anyway when we get to the top of this. All right, here we go. We just do that. Oh my god, that's so sketch. Oh, look how high up we are. Is that one of them down there? It is, isn't it? My god. The question is, is there any more? Just, just do a quick sweep. Oh my god, look how cool this is. You can just see for miles around. Oh my god, look at the size of this place. There's another big tall building over there. It just keeps going. I saw there was, like... Where would that be? Let's see. So if we're... <laughs> Oh my god, no, I clicked. If we're there... So, like, here? Oh, there it is. So, whatever that is... I want to take a look at it. Or just generally around the area. That seems to be... Yeah, that seems to be the center. And a little bit further down here, that might be more residential, though. So cool being up this high. Now you guys know... Why I want a real good sniper. It's not just a cool factor off of the range. It's for situations like this. Cargo drop landing in B3. Where's that? So B3 would be right here. Yeah, we're a little bit far away. I'm honestly not going to leave the city for that either. If I'm not mistaken as well, I believe you have to use the lock picks as well. God, there's a few of them up here. Stronger than I thought I was. I've never seen that before. I don't know if you guys caught that, but it closed its eyes as it died. God, what I would give for a parachute right now. Just to be able to use it. Get down to that floor. <laughs> He's so badass. Just base jumping off the edge of this. God, you can really see the scale of this city though. <laughs> there's, there's so much for me to go through. A lot of it, I'm not going to be showing you guys. Because it's just going to be rinse and repeat. But if... Oh, is that a supermarket? I may show you guys going through that. Because I do need food. And I think we're probably going to go back to that building and call it there. Because this 
has been one hell of a successful day in terms of finding stuff. Oh no, because we're sick, my character's probably going to want to urinate. No, no! <clears throat> Okay, I'm going to have to come to you guys in the comments for that because I have no idea what happened. I know that it said my character was sick with vomiting and I'm guessing that was because of the hypothermia with us doing all the climbing, moving around with all the gear on. But I thought as long as you just stayed still and got your stamina back, you were golden. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I was doing it all wrong and that's what's just cost us that character. For now though, I am going to spawn back in and I'm going to read the comments. If you guys say start with a new character, I will absolutely do that. If you want me to continue with this one, I'll take all the precautions to get the gear back in case that's what you want to do. Let me know in the comments what you guys think we should do for the next episode. I'm kind of pissed that if that's how we do go out because of being sick, that's how we go out. But I mean, hey, if we did have hypothermia and we were climbing a massive building like that, if we were so sick that we did just black out climbing those ladders, that's just the way it goes. But if it was something that you guys noticed, or if there's a way that it, you can glitch or something on the ladders, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I guess it's down to you guys. For now, we are going to end. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. Can you tell how much pain I'm in? <laughs> and I'll see you all in the next one.